Welcome or welcome back on I need help at C-Square. In this example, we have a segment CE and we notice the endpoints of this segment are negative 7 and 2. We also know the point M, which is negative 4 and 0. We want to find out the ratio of CM to ME. For that reason, I'm going to use this grid here. And in fact, this problem is about partitioning a line segment. I'm going to use a graphical method. So let's see. See, it's negative 7 and 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 2. It's right here. Point C. The point E is 8 and negative 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Right here is the point E. A pretty long segment, which probably I'll have a hard time to draw it. And this is the segment CE. And also we know M negative 4 and 0. Right? That will be this guy here. The question is, what is the ratio of CM to ME? For that reason, I will suggest you to draw this triangle. which uh, sometimes we call it the slope triangle. And project this guy on this leg. Let's call this one M prime, I guess, and this one C prime. So we can look now how long C prime M is. C prime M prime, in fact, that is going to be its three units. And then we're going to look how long M prime E is. M prime E is, and let's count, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It's 12 units. So the ratio of C prime M prime and M prime E will be 3 over 12 which is 1 over 4. This ratio is the same for these guys. It's 1 over 4. So that's the fastest way to do it. You can also use the formula for partitioning. I think a graphical method will help a lot. If you enjoyed this video, keep, don't forget to click the like button and come back and C-square for more help. Thank you.